Welcome back to yet another Romsky video. I'm fresh, freshened up, fresh cut, clean. It's been a long time since we did a training vlog, so let's do a training vlog today. A lot to get through. Let's get ready. I'm about like one week out from doing my long program, so pretty excited. Like usual, I'm not gonna reveal what the music is, but uh, yeah, we're almost there. This is probably the last video before we get into choreo videos. So today is April 21st. Since World Team Trophy just finished, if I reflect on if everything went according to plan this season, then I would have been finished my season like now, which would have been fine. But when I think about like the things I've been doing from end of January to now, I'm proud of myself. I don't know, I've been, we've been working a lot of different stuff on the ice, uh, continuing the development of the quad toe, working my skating, um, fixing some technical things here and there. Uh, for those of you who don't know, I used to have in the past troubles with like my edge and my flip. You know, some people have flutzes. I am the opposite, so I get an outside edge of my flip, so my flip is technically a lutz, but depending on the competition, it'll be better or worse. So I do get edge calls here and there, but in the past couple months, I've been working that flip and that edge exclusively. I was doing like singles forever, doubles forever, and yeah, now it's a, I have a flip, so that's, that's cool. Yeah, you know, a lot of these things, all of these habits I've been trying to get out of, and yeah, I'm, you know, I, I'm not gonna talk anymore. What's the point? follow my Instagram you would have noticed that I actually did go to Japan in the middle of March and train there for 10 days just to you know experience something different see what it's like there and I gotta say man those kids there they're built different alternatively assembled just different breed different kind of training while I was there I got to work with Takeshi Honda. We just worked lots of technical stuff, pure technique. I'm really thankful that they let me skate there and it was a really fun 10 days. Even though I spent most of my time training, I still got to see, you know, a few things here and there in, in uh, Japan. They're like extremely hard workers on the ice. So they have their limited ice time, like way more limited than what we have here in Canada. Here in Canada, it's hockey, 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 hockey. So we have ice rinks everywhere and we have all this stuff, but they have like limited ice per day and all the sessions are like packed from like different range of levels. And so you step on and there's like, I don't know, 25 kids. Some of them are like in helmets and can skate or just learning to skate. And then others are like 10 year old girls doing triple out triple toes. So you get the full range of different skaters and everyone's very self-sufficient and self-motivated and just culturally everything is so just different, they're built different. There's like eight year olds taking public transit alone and like their work ethic is very impressive. And on top of that, you know, just got a few tips and tricks over there. That's always valuable. Definitely been trying to apply the learnings from Japan into my daily training. And I think the last video I posted may have been, I mean, the training vlog was like a month and a half ago, but the clips were from like right after nationals. So there's a gap. There's a gap. Next week, we're gonna work on the long program, so subscribe if you haven't already, if you wanna catch that video. <sighs> it's a busy time of the season, and I'm not gonna lie, making the choreography videos is probably my least favorite editing process. It's just such a pain. There's just so much volume of video to sift through, so it's like not my favorite thing to do, but uh, you know, if you guys love it, I'm willing to do it, and yeah. 
I'm looking forward to the hours of editing that are upcoming. Because stuff like this, training vlogs, they're really easy to do. I can like mash through them pretty quick, the edit at least. But stuff like choreo, that stuff takes a long time. Because it's just hours and hours and hours. So yeah, so next week is long program. And then short program, hopefully shortly after. And yeah, let's, let's, let's get on with the video. The man is here, the legend. <laughs> yeah, so Mark is here. He's working with a lot of the skaters here, and uh, we're gonna start working next week. Super excited. I haven't even heard the music yet. I know what the music is, but we are working with Maxime again. So, yeah. You know, it's just always worked out, so I really enjoy that combination. We're gonna play with a little bit of different jumping order this year, so that'll shake things up a little bit. Working some new and different entrances into like axle and stuff, uh, different combinations. And quad toe now is it's still not like prime prime, but it takes so much less effort from me now, and it takes both like mentally and physically, it's like more efficient, less overwhelming. Um, and the biggest thing I notice is on like the more tired days or the days where I'm not clicking as well and not doing as well, I'm still able to do some really good passes at it versus in the past, like if I wasn't feeling well or uh, the jumps weren't feeling great or if the muscles were sore, quad toe wouldn't really happen. It would just be like too much. So that's where I notice is when I'm in the really like, when I'm more fatigued, like onset fatigue, then I can actually pull it off. So it's a good sign, good trend. I like where it's heading. Although I like Sao, like I like Sao a lot. There are days and there are times where toe loop, you know, it's it's got a yummy feel to it. You know, it's pretty tasteful. Okay, so almost done. Second session done. Fortunately, my uh, camera cut out halfway through the second session, but you know it is what it is. Now it's Friday. It's gym day. Gotta go to the gym. Get absolutely just shredded. Uh, and I'm in a time in this season where we're doing a pretty heavy strength thing, if that makes sense. The load with strength is really high right now, so working out a lot. The next, I think it's a total of like 10 weeks or whatever, so it's gonna be 10 weeks of pretty hard strength, and then um, it should make me stronger, and it should make me less injury prone, and once the season starts, then that's gonna tone down a lot, and then, then it's less so, but I'm feeling it. Every, right now I'm doing Tuesdays and Fridays, going to the gym, and every Wednesday and Saturday, bro, it hurts. Alright guys, that's it. That's the end of the video. Unfortunately, I did forget to record a closing at the rink, but yes, a lot of things are happening. Training really hard, training in a, in a different way than uh, other years. 
because of this uh, longer off season. Super excited to show you guys what's gonna happen next week, which is going to be the new long program. You guys know what to do. Subscribe so that you know when that video comes out. And honestly, I'm just super excited to hear the music because I like know what the music is, but I haven't heard the final cut, but I think it has like a lot of potential. And uh, yeah, I'm excited to bring you guys with me. Not excited to edit that one because every year, it's just hours and hours. You know what? This year, I'm just gonna do a better job. I'm gonna choose the right moment to record stuff. I'm gonna edit for hours. All right guys, on that note, subscribe so that you don't miss my next video. Hit that like button, comment down below what you guys think, how you guys are feeling, and I will catch you guys in the next video. Yeah,